Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What do you know about this? I know it's a really well-known horror movie. Yeah. And that there is a murderer with a chainsaw. Yeah, that's, that's about as much as I know too, which is pretty much what we get from the title of the movie. Yeah, so I don't know, I'm assuming there's like a famous murderer villain, uh, just like, you know, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, right. uh, Jason, um, but I don't know who who this is. I know it's a classic. I know it was very highly suggested, especially when we watched Halloween mm -hmm. for the first time on right. Halloween. Um, so it's, it's really cool to kind of go back and revisit these classic like horror villains, I guess. Yeah, no, I'm excited. It's late at night. It's nice and dark. It's a perfect time to watch a scary movie, so if you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. And with that, let's get into the movie. Were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Is this real or not? That's what I was wondering. We're gonna have to look that up afterwards. Yeah. Also, it makes you feel like everyone's going to die. Doesn't sound like there was any survivors. Ooh. This is a cool little intro. Creepy. Yeah. Like a really decayed body. Yeah. As a result of a special grand jury investigation. It's like wet. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts. A dozen empty crypts? No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Gross. Right? Could you imagine someone going and digging up one of your dead relatives? And then, like, playing with the bodies. Houston police are puzzled over an outbreak of violence apparently touched off by a suicide. Interesting credits. I have no idea what we're even looking at. Looks like solar flares. Oh, no. Planets are in retrograde, their malefices increased. Saturn is in retrograde? Yeah. Hey man, you believe all that stuff your old lady's talking to me? I don't know. <laughs> I've heard that before. I haven't heard anything about Saturn, but like Mercury. Oh yeah, Mercury's in retrograde. Yeah. I guess I haven't heard Saturn. Say fella, I'm gonna run off with the girl a minute. You don't mind, do you? Honey, I'll get come you <laughs> Just grabbed her. Man, come on. Get in there the uh, that's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. See those buildings there? That's where they kill them. Oh, that's awful. Oh. They usually wouldn't kill them on the first lick. Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it. I like meat. Please take it. I like meat. It's been pretty graphic already. Right, yeah. Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? No. I mean, I guess it is the 70s. I think people were a lot easier to pick up as hitchhikers back then. I think we just picked up Dracula. Where you headed, man? Hey, man, did you go in that slaughter room? The place where they shoot the cattle in the head with that big air gun. With a sledge. <laughs> see, that was better. They died better that way. Let me see them. They don't send the heads away. You took these, uh, huh? Yeah. That's a strange individual to have in your car. They don't throw nothing away. The jowls, the eyes, and the ligaments, and everything. He's a fox around his neck, too. Yeah, I don't know. It's like his, like, little wallet first thing so now he's out of a job because he used to use the sledge and now oh. what are you doing <laughs> nope <laughs> yeah yeah why aren't they stopping i don't know i would be throwing this dude out of the van right away <laughs> take me to my house I lived right off this road. You, you, you could have dinner with us. He just went from cutting his own hand to inviting them over for dinner. It didn't turn out so good. No, man. Frankly, give him back the damn picture. Is that gunpowder? I'm a little shocked they let it get that far before throwing this guy out. Yeah. 
Oh, that was so weird. One of the strangest interactions I've ever seen. Hey, listen to Franklin's horoscope. Could make this disturbing and unpredictable day. <laughs> Just reading the horoscope. Well, it says that he's going to have a bad, unpredictable day. <laughs> it's pretty true so far. I got no gas. The old Franklin place? They don't want to go messing around no old house. <laughs> it just keeps cleaning. I've never been to a gas station that was out of gas. Yeah, me neither. Out of soda, too. <laughs> just out of everything. And that guy cut the hell out of himself. Man, it, it takes something, though. I mean, just to do that to yourself. Shh, like you dude, do. don't. Do you think I said something made him mad? Maybe that his picture sucked. We're going out to Grandpa's place, aren't Let's we? Go. He was cleaned in the front of the car. He needed to clean the side. They've had an absolute wild road trip for right. like it's been like <laughs> thirty minutes. Are they going back? I think they're going back to, to like the gas a, station. Yeah, to a gas station they passed. Or maybe they're just going to the house. Maybe if they are going back. Is that guy just going to be on the side of the road again? Yeah, I don't know at what point they dropped him off. No, I guess they did go back to the parents' house. Mm -hmm. Where's my knife? Kurt. Oh, man. Did they just leave him outside alone? I think so. And without his knife. Spiders? Oh, what the? F no, I'd burn the whole house down. At least it's outside, I think. I can't believe they just left him outside alone. Like this terrain is gonna be rough for him. Yeah. I'm just waiting for this guy to just come back. <laughs> He's just what having guy? the worst day. Yeah. Are Jerry and Sally going? No. We'll see you in an hour or so. Splitting up. Bones? Like a dog? Yeah. Sally! Sally! Sally's the absolute worst at responding to her brother. Zero in the world. <laughs> I mean, I want to have a little bit of faith that is still light outside. Right. But these shots and this music are making <laughs> me think otherwise. Gasoline. I can leave him my guitar, give him a couple more dollars, bring him back some gas? No. Mm-mm. You're just walking right into it. Come here, look at this! A lot of cars. Yeah. Is that their cars, or is that unfortunate victims' cars? <laughs> the house looks more normal. Yeah, from the front, looks nice. Little swing. Is that a tooth? Yeah, it's definitely someone's tooth. Got something for you. <laughs> no way, just put it in her hand. <laughs> There's a significant amount of dead animals in this house. Hello! Oh, what are you doing? Just walking right in. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> That was so insanely abrupt. Just the way he like slammed the door after too. Yeah. No, Pam. I was not anticipating a kill that. Just like that. Quickly. Like this girl isn't gonna leave without him. Mm-mm. Kill them just like they kill the cows. Oh, he's behind that door. Jesus. Oh my God, why'd you open it like that? Oh, that's a human jaw. What? This is disturbing. Oh my god. Get out. 
Yeah, this is not the right decision. How long are you staying in this room? Oh. No. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> that was so violent. I feel like at least the guy was like quick. Yeah, the guy died like without even probably feeling anything. He had no idea what was going on, but she might be alive for a very long time. Listen, I think I'll walk down to the creek before it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Uh, I think you better stay here. They're just going one at a time now. I mean, at least this one, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, they shouldn't leave him alone. Mm -hmm. walking into the same trap or if they're gonna he's gonna find her like sandals or something outside oh there's his jacket right yeah good call and she might still be alive in there screaming i mean he's huge and he's quick too he's pretty quiet yeah go back man pam is that you Oh, is that her, like, struggling? Like, maybe she's got something in her mouth? It could be. I thought it was the chicken at first. Come on! Oh, man. You're about to be strung up right next to her. Oh, no. Oh, they're gone? She's in the freezer? Is it her, or is it him? Oh. <gasps> Jesus. <gasps> Oh no. Oh my god. These guys are honestly getting it a little easy. Just getting knocked out right away. He's just picking them off so fast. Yeah, he's so fast. Oh my god. I didn't put it together the first time we saw his face that he was wearing other people's faces. Yeah, his teeth were insane too. Jerry! They'll probably be back in a minute or so. Like hours, probably. I think we ought to go. Franklin is over this trip, and I do not blame him. His instincts are right. Hey, just Stop it! All right, all right. Go look for him. All right, all right. So I'll go with you. I'll go with you, but I'm gonna hold. Never mind. Home. I'll just go without it. <sighs> all right, let's go. Let's go. I'll, I'll go with you. Car's gonna be dead too with the lights on. Yeah, good call. Not if they have any keys, anyways, but. They don't have any keys or gas. I feel so bad for Franklin. I feel like he's gonna get stuck. I mean, that might save him. Jerry! I feel like that flashlight's doing nothing. <laughs> it's very, very dark. Sally, I hear something. Stop! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Man. Holy shit. So much for saving him. Sally, you better run. Everyone is already dead. <laughs> Just Why run. Screaming. Oh my god, she's stuck. Oh my god, her hair. Is that his house? Yeah, I think you're just running into his own home. He has a chainsaw. <laughs> I think he could get the through door this door. The door is not gonna stop him. Oh my god. Please, please help me. Please. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Good shit. She just went for it. I don't think he'll go for it. No, I don't think so either. She break her leg though? Yeah, she oh, no. fucked She's... her leg up. Please stop screaming. <laughs> it's just so fast. At least he can't sneak up on her. Oh, God. Oh, oh wow, she made it all the way back station? here. 
Christ. <gasps> no. Turn around. Lock the door. Gary. I don't, I don't know what happened. Lock the door. Take it easy, pal. I'll get the truck. Either I don't trust this guy. No, this guy's gonna die. Or he's about to get killed out there. Are those animal parts or That's a sack. Not out of What do you want? No! Oh, just a oh my god, you got defeated by a broom. This is the meat. Is this the meat they've been eating? Yeah, I think that their barbecue was humans probably. Man, the two guys died instantly. Franklin got it rough, but these girls are just being kept alive. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, crazy guy from before. Come here, you nap-haired idiot. I'm full. You almost got caught over a dude. I mean, the signs are all there now. His fascination with killing people with a sledgehammer, taking pictures of mutilated animals, cutting himself, his fascination with knives. Oh, definitely the signs <laughs> of a serial killer. And I told you I told it's like all you three of them? Yeah, so far there's three of them. Two brothers and this is the dad, I assume. Let them get away. <laughs> Are you sure? So creepy, oh my god. Get upstairs and get your grandpa. Grandpa? So they dug up the graves? Yeah, they dug up the graves. So I guess they dug up their grandpa. And grandma. Those were the, the two people upstairs, maybe in the rocking chairs, just grandma and grandpa. I think so. <laughs> Get in there! For the longest time, I thought there was just like a pig somewhere in this house. Yeah. But that's that's him. That's him. Those noises. <laughs> Oh my god. The thing is alive? I thought that was- what the fuck? I thought that was just a dead body. Are you kidding me? What the hell is that then? I thought someone else was just making like sucking noises or something. I thought they just put the finger in the mouth and then yeah, the other guy was making the sucking noises. So they're just gonna keep her alive as like a blood human bag. blood bag? Oh my god, his new face. Just like the horror design aesthetic of this house is insane. <laughs> what are these sounds? I feel like I'm going insane. I've been thinking about letting Grandpa have some fun. You always said he's the best. Hey, Grandpa, we're going to let you have this one. Now, now, don't you cry none. Grandpa's the best. It won't hurt a bit. I mean, Grandpa's clearly the weakest, and there's some family fighting going on here. Yeah. Maybe something can happen so she can get, get away. <laughs> it's not looking good. Go. Maybe she can grab it. Okay, run. Oh, it's light. Run. She needs to make it to the road. I don't even know how far the road is, but at least it is light time again. <laughs> Unless he's just toying with her. I think he is. He's stabbing her? No, just run. Yeah, dude, just go. Where are they driving away? I don't, I don't know. Oh, great throw. Of the dad? I don't know who this is. Oh my god. 
dead in this truck. That's how it ends? Jeez. All right, that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What'd you think? Uh. Right? <laughs> that's that's kind of how I feel. Like, I just, that was... I was uncomfortable. It was scary. It was gross. A lot of really unique stuff, in my opinion, mm -hmm. in this movie. Yeah. Like, first of all, the design, if you want to call it design aesthetic, of their house was horrible. Yeah. Like, so disturbing. There was so much disturbingness in this. Like, the design aesthetic, the grandpa being alive, like, that was wild. Uh, yeah, I'm, I take back what he, I said about him being a vampire. But, <laughs> I mean, he only came alive with her blood, so... Oh, no, I thought, I was like, is this a vampire? Like... Yeah, but... Yeah, no, the whole thing, I mean, they were using every part of these people's bodies everywhere. Like, yeah. the, the chandelier was, like, covered in faces. Yeah, and... there was, like, a rib cage skeleton lamp, like, a face, like, light. Yeah, the arms of the chair were arms. Uh, were human arms, yeah. Yeah, no, there were so many really clever things. Like you said, like, the design of it. And then the the sounds and the music, yeah, they just like really played into what was happening, and all of the creepy sounds. I mean, obviously the chainsaw, the chainsaw, really yeah, scariest. So that was taking over everything. You couldn't even really hear yourself think, especially at the end when he was kind of swinging it around, and in our headphones we were like hearing it on like it Both. kept switching <laughs> sides, like yeah, and I mean. The dinner scene was probably the most horrific for me mm -hmm. because I would say 99% of Sally's dialogue is her screaming. Yeah. And you think it would kind of get old, but that dinner scene of just her screaming for like five, 10 minutes and then like just laughing and then just like torturing her, like. It was disturbing. It was just so disturbing. Like, and like, so that's Leatherface. So I've heard of Leatherface before. Okay. So, um, I just didn't put it together that that's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. Uh, I thought, like, his movies were called Leatherface. But, like, his face has changed, too. Mm -hmm. Like, and his hair. Like, I feel like he went into, like, different modes of being, like, a killer than, like, almost like a mom. <laughs> like, getting the table ready and yeah. stuff. That was just his, like, pig noises mm -hmm. were just disturbing. It, it goes back to, you talk about just the noises, the music, the screaming the chainsaw, the pig noises, like all of it combined was just this mix of just like horror. Yeah, no, and it was um, gruesome, but I feel like it wasn't over the top gruesome. No. But it still like very much got its point across. Yeah, they, they got the gruesomeness factor by what was happening and like the design aesthetic. But yeah. obviously this seems like it's a lower budget movie, which means they have to cleverly hide like the very gory things that happen mm -hmm. and they did it perfectly like franklin getting killed you saw it from the back mm -hmm. or pam when she got put on the hook like in your mind that's so disgusting mm -hmm. but you didn't see the gore on the screen right um i forgot kirk i think was his name like he was laid out on the table like being like chainsawed up you didn't see any of this yeah but you knew it was happening and it was framed in a way that it was still perfectly executed mm -hmm. by horror standards and just really disturbing. Right. And on top of the way, on top of we talked about the design, we talked about the sound and talking about kind of getting into the film and how it was filmed, the way that they filmed some of the scenes, the angles that they were using, especially like the whole scene, like you said, while she was screaming at dinner, yeah. all of that, the scenes where she's running um, with the, the flashlight kind of moving and all of it was just like it just really played so well yeah you had like extreme close-ups of like the eyeballs and stuff and mm -hmm. very quick cuts and that was that was a wild movie experience for sure absolutely and i mean if we really think about it start to finish it did have such a simple story yeah but it was just executed so well 
yeah, just, I mean, a road trip gone bad yeah. pretty much. But what was pretty unique for me was the speed that everyone died. Mm -hmm. I feel like typically like you might have some like stalking or, you know, I mean, you had the one scene with Sally where she's trying to escape. But for the most part, everyone immediately died. Mm -hmm. Like in, in a scene from being perfectly okay to then immediately dead. Mm -hmm. The two guys uh, got it the best. Like yeah. <laughs> they they got they it the very lucky because yeah. they just got hit in the head. They were probably knocked unconscious before they even realized what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then that was it. Mm -hmm. uh, Pam, I honestly think probably Pam is unfortunately still alive in that house, in that freezer. And, yeah, and, and I Franklin know. got it pretty, pretty rough. True. But uh, but yeah. all of them, you know, like Leatherface, he was just so fast. Like it was just, you know, the beginning scene where he was first introduced was just like lightning quick and he had knocked out Kirk. Yeah, he was so fast also for his size. Like yeah. he was huge, he was strong. He was like throwing around that chainsaw. I mean, I've never picked up a chainsaw, <laughs> but I would imagine that it's extremely heavy. Um, and he's running through the forest with it and just cutting through the trees and all of that while she's like getting stuck in her yeah. hair and everything. And I don't know, that just, was that was just so disturbing. I was so uncomfortable at the end there with that whole dinner scene. Yeah. And so much of that movie was just being uncomfortable. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like that's that's something that's different for me. Like I'm used to like killers almost like not necessarily well i guess you could kind of say like toying with their victims mm -hmm. or or um you know kind of creative ways for people to die or something like leatherface like he saw you and then attack like mm -hmm. that was it it's like i'm gonna try to kill you immediately however i can if i have a hammer i'm gonna hit you with a hammer if i have a chainsaw i'm gonna run at you with a chainsaw yeah like there was no playing around it just was it was about the bodies like, right it was about just getting the bodies about the blood the skin, whatever it was. Um, there wasn't necessarily like a thrill in the kill other than the torture kind of scene with the dinner table. It was it was more about just going after it, which is, in my opinion, very scary. Oh, yeah. There was no playing with it. It was just, you're dead. Yeah. Like, you don't even stand a chance. Like, the second you see Leatherface, he's already coming after you and you better hope you're fast. Right. So that was, that was terrifying for me. You know, how quickly everyone just got picked apart. That was pretty unique. You know, people in horror movies die one by one or get picked off or something like that. But this was just like, especially the first scene. I mean, the first scene was just like, that caught us so off guard Yeah. when he went into the house and then he just like, bang, showed up, hammer. And then the way he just like slammed that door shut yeah. and it was just like silent, that was, truly terrifying yeah and you know for as much as we were like kind of screaming at them like why are you running to the house why are you they really weren't making stupid decisions no i mean for us as the viewer like we know like that's where he lives right. don't go in there but nobody was really making like stupid decisions where it's like i have car keys and could leave or i'm gonna go into this haunted house like it, it right. wasn't like that which was no. cool yeah that's that's a really good point i no one really died in a dumb way. Mm -hmm. Like the first people went over there because th there was a logical reason. They heard the generators, which means they have gas mm -hmm. and they needed gas. Right. And then, you know, the next guy who went, he was just trying to find them because they wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. And then- um, And he knew they were there from the towel or jacket or whatever that was. Right, yeah. They knew at least the direction that they were and he went there. And then when he saw the jacket on the porch, he knew that they were inside the house. Right. So everything, everything was a logical reason. Even Sally and Franklin, they waited as long as they could before going. They didn't split up mm -hmm. or anything. Like, even though they got picked apart, they had very good logical reasons for everything that did they did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Sally did everything she could. I mean, she literally, like, I was so impressed when she just, like, no hesitation, jumped out the window of the second story. Well, and yeah, and then she jumped out the window of the first story too. Yeah, she was just like, fuck these windows, I'm gone. Yeah, she was just out of there and to head straight to the road, which was exactly what she needed to do. Yeah. And- Flagged people down. Yeah, I mean, the first brother that we met, the hitchhiker, he was more playful with he her. Was, he was the playful, because disturbing he, one. Yeah, because he definitely could have 
tackled her in the yeah. road from the house and he was going around her and playing with her and that inevitably is what caused his the end yeah his death but also her being able to escape yeah which i was super surprised about as well i wasn't in, in anticipating um her making it out alive no especially from the intro i felt like it said that they both died maybe i read the intro or heard the intro wrong but i thought it was like Sally and Franklin like had a terrible day and they died. So I was expecting them to not make it. Right. But yeah, no, the the other brother, his fascination with toying, they had a they built up his character very well in the scene when they picked him up first as a hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. And and you kind of get that, you understand his fascination with, you know, the slow cutting of his hand and um the slaughterhouse. Yeah, the enjoying the using a sledgehammer as opposed to the more humane way of killing the cows. Right. Yeah, because in the beginning, I was thinking that he was going to be the killer. Yeah. Just based on, you know, he, you know, serial killers, they say, start with, like, animals and that type of stuff, and he seemed to really enjoy it and stuff. But after they let him out, I didn't totally expect it to be him, and I, I wasn't anticipating it all to be full circle related. Right, like a whole family affair. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it, there was just a lot of, like, clever parts to the film. A lot of clever parts. The movie's only, like, an hour and 20 minutes long. Yeah. You had a lot of psychological horror and then physical horror and also just a smart uh, horror movie. Like, mm -hmm. very smart. Very well shot and, and very smart because, like, like we just talked about, everything that happened seemed like a logical step that would actually happen to someone in this unfortunate situation yeah we still need to find out if this was if this was real or not this is real. i mean based off of that intro i don't know if that was just a clever intro to make us more afraid that this actually happened like yeah. a spooky scary story or if this really happened which if it did really happen then that just kind of lends to the idea that this movie felt like a very logical and genuine horror movie mm -hmm. where you like i'm afraid yeah to stop to get gas in Texas now. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm very afraid. So that was that was true a truly great movie. Yeah. This this was really good. And then just to top it off, that ending was intense. Mm -hmm. Like her just like screaming slash laughing and smiling, like just covered in blood in the backseat of that truck. Yeah, that truck the the guy that ended up picking her up in the pickup truck kept looking back at her like I think he was looking back at her and looking back at what was going on. So he yeah. seemed, just from the brief moments of him turning around, he seemed very afraid too. Yeah. So I don't feel like that was like a, uh, like a setup or something. Like like the truck was gonna, you know. Yeah, no. I I actually was surprised that the truck turned around when it started coming and it like swerved around her. I thought it was just gonna be like, I don't know what's happening. I'm seeing a lot of blood. I'm out of here. Right. But he did turn around, let her get in. And then what, what the hell happened to the poor truck driver though? He bolted the other direction. He kept running. Yeah. I hope he got away because yeah. he he saved the day as well yes. for killing killing the brother. Yeah. And then he like, I don't know why they didn't take off. Um, but grabbing that wrench and then he just chucked it at Leatherface, yeah. hit him right in the head. Like, yeah. he deserves Well, and he little... just like picked her up right into the car, too. Like, he saved her yeah. in doing that. So, yeah, that was yeah. like, she, <laughs> that, very, very lucky that she got two, two people to show up. Super clutch moments. Yeah, in this like tiny little town and this tiny little road. Right, just a road off in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And two people just happened to come by at the perfect time and both of them helped her. Yeah, both were willing to help her. So yeah, I mean, this was this was an incredible movie. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna close my eyes later tonight and just hear sounds of a chainsaw and that final scene of him just wildly swinging the chainsaw around in like this, I assume that was like the sunrise. It was crazy. <laughs> It was crazy for sure. So I'm I'm really happy that we experienced this movie. Yeah, me too. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.